So I had some audio trouble in this video, so I'm going to narrate. Uh, today we're going to do a turkey breast, kind of a Texas style turkey breast on the Weber with the rotisserie attachment. So the Weber kettle, here we go. So I just got some charcoal that I'm getting ready to light and I'm using this Prime 6 charcoal. Uh, certainly not sponsored or anything, but it burns really well, burns hot. Um, and very long, it's very efficient. So uh, just showing you that, it's kind of got six sides and a hole in the middle. It's kind of cool and it, and it runs very well. So we're gonna go ahead and get the uh, charcoal lit with a couple of tumbleweeds and uh, let that come up to temperature while we get the turkey breast ready. So the Prime 6 charcoal is somewhat ashed over, so we're going to get that uh, dumped in the uh, charcoal pan on one side of the grill. Uh, you don't want to uh, fill your uh, charcoal grate up with uh, charcoal. It'll get way too hot, so just put it to one side. And uh, I'll use some tongs here to kind of adjust things and make sure they're even. And uh, we'll get this uh turkey breast on the uh, pit. So we're just going to get this turkey breast ready. We're going to trim the skin off. We don't need that. And I'm also going to get any uh, pieces that are loose and might uh, kind of hang down and burn. We don't want those. Uh, so we're going to get this uh, trimmed up and uh, then seasoned up. This is a turkey breast I've actually had in the freezer since Thanksgiving. I did a series of turkey breasts around Thanksgiving and uh, I bought a few of them. I, I really like them so i uh, got a, one or two more in the freezer yet as well. So we're just going to, uh, to get the uh, loose pieces uh, trimmed up here. Uh, there will be a couple here on the back that we got. I thought about leaving those and kind of just folding them in, but I decided to go ahead and take uh, two or three of them off. And then we'll get this uh, seasoned up. Uh, you'll see some Kewpie mayo off to the side. Uh, I'm going to rub the outside of the turkey breast with a little Kewpie mayo, uh, add that extra layer of fat. Of course, uh, turkey breast, chicken breast, they can dry out very, very easily. Um, and as you'll see later, this one actually turned out great. Uh, but adding a layer of mayo is not a bad way to go. It will help your seasoning stick to it as well. Uh, so we're going to do that right now, I believe. There we go. First side, I probably added a little too much mayo. It wasn't too bad, but uh, I could have done with a little less. It didn't affect anything in the end, so... Just going to coat the one side there, and then we'll flip it over and do the same thing on the uh, other side. And now we're going to season the underside first after we get that mayo. And for seasoning, we're using 16 mesh black pepper and kosher salt, about a 60-40 ratio uh, of uh, the pepper to the uh, kosher salt. Um, I will tell you, I ended up with just a little too much pepper on this. It was very peppery. Um, I liked it. Uh, my one son liked it. Uh, but definitely, uh, if you're sensitive to black pepper, this was a little too much. Uh, when I do both sides. So just be aware of that and be careful. It doesn't really look like a lot. Maybe on this side it probably does, but uh, um, definitely made it peppery. So we'll get this uh, seasoned up here and then we're going to get the rotisserie spit out and the uh, clamps to, uh, to get it ready to go out on the pit. So we're just going to run it through the meaty part and try to keep it in the center, get it all the way through. I had already measured 
where this uh, would go. I ended up moving it just a little bit because I thought it would be off center. Uh, I just sort of eyeballed it and it turned out great. It was right where I wanted it to be on the uh, Weber kettle. Just gonna grab the other uh, set of spikes and put it on. I didn't really worry about getting every spike through a piece of meat. It held it on just fine. And now we'll tighten it up real well. And about now is when I realized I probably needed to move it over um, a little bit. So I'm gonna move it to the, uh, the left on your screen. So there we go. Uh, one last thing I did is found some spots that were lacking a little seasoning and touched that up and we'll get it out to the pit now. All right, so we're gonna get this turkey breast on the uh, rotisserie and get it turned on. And as you'll see, I, I eyeballed this pretty well um, once I get it in there, if I get it in there. Uh, it's pretty well centered. Um, it's actually hard to tell from that angle, but uh, when you're looking at it the right way, it was pretty perfect as far as being centered. And we're just gonna get that flipped on. And you always need to uh, watch to make sure your meat isn't slipping around the spit. Uh, you might need a counterweight. This actually was uh, pretty solid, so I didn't have to do anything. Uh, and that little yellow thing is my combustion ink probe uh, relay. Uh, I wanted to keep track of this temperature. Um, it only ended up taking, and, and I might have the audio working again when I mention this later, but it only took about an hour, so it cooked very quickly. I was really glad to have that layer of mayonnaise on it to make sure that was uh, kept moist. I backed the vents down to barely a third, if not a quarter open. Uh, just because I knew it was going to get pretty hot in there, especially with that Prime 6. It ended up being a little more charcoal than I, uh, than I anticipated. So uh, we're going to bring you back, I believe, about an hour in, or 40 minutes, I think. All right, so like I said, we're about 40 minutes in. We're just going to take a quick look at this turkey breast. And the color, uh, as you'll see, looks really good. Um, and the juice is just uh, really basted on there. It looks great. Can't really tell from the video. Uh, but we're going to let it keep going and bring you back when it's finished. Okay, it has only been an hour, but we are just about there. We're uh, almost at 155. So I'm gonna, we're going to look at this real quick and... Uh, then I'm going to get the camera inside and uh, I'm going to give it to about 157, 158. Uh, you don't want to dry this out. It's a uh, breast, remember, so let's take a look. Ooh, it's really pretty. Let me uh, see if I can zoom just a little bit. And the color on that's beautiful, that black pepper on the outside. Um, so I'm going to get the lid on get the camera inside, let this bump up another few degrees, and uh, then we'll get it in and give it a good rest, at least 20 minutes, uh, just gonna tent it in foil, and then we'll bring you back and we'll slice into it. See you in a few. Hey, so here's our turkey breast. It's rested about 20 minutes. Very juicy. Forgot my rubber glove here. So we're just gonna Cut right in the center of this. I'm gonna food save it and probably freeze this and then, uh, or freeze half of it. And then when we want it, we'll uh, use the uh, sous vide to warm it up. It's kind of my plan. So I'm just gonna go right down the center and that black pepper looks good. And cooking it like this really ought to mild, uh, make that black pepper mild. There we go. That's pretty. Very juicy, looks great. Let's just cut a slice here. Mm. That's good. 
That black pepper is not as mild as I had hoped though. A little kick to it. Man, that's good. Hey, thanks for joining me on this quick cook. Very easy. I'm loving the rotisserie. We'll see you next time at Buckeye Barbecue.